What is up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is Injection Molding Skills and More. Um, and my name is David Lucas. Um, thanks for coming back and checking out my channel. Today we're actually going to go over flash. What is actually flash, how to fix it, and what to look for whenever you come up to a press. So really flash is excess of material that actually so if you look at this part here, this here is actually the parting line right here. So excess material that goes across on the parting line is called flash. So this can happen on the parting line. It can actually happen on the slides or cams or lifters, just whatever everybody calls them. So it can happen in different areas. So what happens is, is let's say you go up to a press and you've been running that press all day long. You know, and then the operator calls you and says, flash. You know, what would be the first thing you'd probably want to look at? Well, maybe the mold's dirty. You might want to go up to the mold and look and see if there's anything in it, keeping it from closing all the way up, or checking your uh, thermolators to make sure there's nothing wrong with the, the heat on the press, you know. So that could be two things if you've been running all day long. Let's say eight hours and all of a sudden you just have an issue, you know. The vents could be dirty, the mold could be dirty, you could have debris inside the mold somewhere, or like I said, thermolators could have shut off and it could be overheating. So, but I wanted to show you guys a picture of like the slides. So these are the slides or cams or lifters is what everybody calls them. They drive in with these horn pins, right? These holes here are where horn pins drive them in. I'll go over that on another t topic. But what happens is plastic will get down in these and won't let these seal off. And you'll get flash in there around any of that area too so that that could happen too so what usually happens is is like this so this is your cycle so you're filling the part here you're cooling the cycle mold opens you eject it so this parting line right here the very center of this right here is the parting line so if this does not close up correctly under a good clamp tonnage because what can happen too is you could actually inject and your injection pressure could actually force the mold open and you can get flashed that way too. So what you need to do is you need to make sure, let's say you've been running, like I said, all day long. That parting line right there, there might be something interfering with that parting line to keeping it from closing all the way up. So you just want to make sure whenever you have that mold, it opens up, ejects the part off, closes back up, builds tonnage, nice clean area. If the mold is actually dirty, let's say you got vents on a tool. So this, this part, all the way around this part on the parting line, you got small little vents that go out to the sides. What that does is that when you inject the material into the, into the mold, that gas, it lets the gases escape out the vents. So what happens is if you can't let that gas get out the vents, what happens is it'll flash in those areas or you'll get a burn mark. So like I said, flash, you know, all around the edges of this. I mean, there's a lot of issues you can come up with on as far as flash. You can have a runner and part of the runner break off in there. And then you're not making all your parts. That could happen. A part could stick in the mold. That could happen. So, <clears throat> things to do to fix it, though. I mean, you could increase your clamp tonnage. You can clean the mold. You could slow down the injection speed. Um, increase or decrease pressures, um, mold temperature, you know, proper venting. Um, there's a lot of different things you could do to minimize the flash. But like I said, if you're coming up to that mold and it's been running all day long, some of the first things is to make sure it's clean. You know, that's number one. Make sure there's nothing in the mold, you know, like in the leader pin holes, any of that stuff. So these these pins here are guide pins. They go into leader pin holes. So what happens is sometimes the part will fall out. It'll close up on the pins and push plastic all up inside there. This, this will keep this from closing all the way up, guys. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that you you see that. Um, I got a video of a of an injection molding press, like a simulator of a kind of a injection molding press to show you the basics, like the hopper. The injection sled, the clamp, the you know the platens, 
just everything where everything goes on a, on a press more or less so again flash is is a common thing it happens all the time you you know you might be running for a while and you'll have that issue but if you're starting out a brand new tool you know you're always wanting to go ahead and you're you leave all your pack and hold completely off you're trying to adjust your shot size to get the part to be about 95 to 98 percent full and then you go ahead and you take half of that pressure and then go ahead and you add to your that's your pack and hold pressure if you go up too high you can actually blow the mold open and flash your part out so there's there's variances in that so what you can see too though if you look really all down this line right here that's what they call party line flash so what it's doing is it's actually blowing open so on this mold what happened is is this gate here stuck and stuck the part inside the mold this part here was not even in there what it did is it shot because this part was still stuck in there and it flashed all that excess material flashed this part out the next part to it and the other two little parts below it so you really got to keep an eye on this and what happens is is if you have mold protect on your presses this shouldn't have happened but the way that this part sits inside the press it sets in a channel like a pocket so the press can actually close back up if you have both these parts stick it can actually still stick inside there and the mold still can close up even having mold protect set real low it can close back up on that part so again flash there's a lot of different ways of fixing it me personally you know i would clean the mold first to make sure you know areas are clean all the vents are clean injection speed injection pressure mold temperature so any if it gets too hot it could happen increasing clamp tonnage um so i mean there, there's a lot of different variables that goes into that as far as just the flash only but me personally i mean i've said it i don't know how many times i probably said it probably three or four times i repeat myself a lot but making sure you're taking care of your tool is priority number one so if you have a car and you drive 3,000 miles and you don't go get the oil changes in that car what do you think is going to happen to that car going down the road so what you want to try to do is you want to try to do preventative maintenance on all your tools plus you want to clean your molds at least once a shift if you could do that that'll really help you out all right guys well I hope you enjoyed the video um, it's short sweet um, I hope you guys please like, share, and subscribe. Until again, this is Dave Lucas, Injection Molding Skills and More. To understand how an injection molding machine works, we'll use a cutaway drawing. This is the view from the back side of the molding machine. Again, this is the hopper. This is the hydraulic injection cylinder. Here is the screwdriver motor. The barrel, the nozzle, the platen, the mold, and the clamp. The plastic raw material is stored in the hopper. From the hopper, the plastic falls onto the rotating screw, where it is conveyed forward by the flights of the screw and is gradually melted as it moves forward. When enough melted plastic has accumulated ahead of the screw, the screw stops rotating. Then the screw, acting as a plunger, pushes the melted plastic out of the injection barrel, through the nozzle, screw, runners, gates, and on into the mold cavities.